Hey guys, are you here? And today I'm going to go over some RMP footage with you guys against a team that we were losing against and winning against and kind of try to break down the loss, see what went wrong, and then go into the wins and kind of see why we won and see what we did a lot better. So here, uh, jumping into the game, we're on Tolveron Arena. I am playing RMP with Gex and Special. These guys are awesome. Had such a fun time playing with them. And we are fighting a Feral, a Hunter, and a Disc Breeze. So traditionally, Marksman Hunters are, are very hard for mages just because they keep drilling the mage, right? Um, so in this game, I, I want to keep in mind line of sight a lot. I want to not line of sight my healer, but I do want to line of sight the hunter if I'm under fire. Um, the priest is playing relentless. The, the human hunt, the hunter is human rather, and the feral druid is a night elf, right? So just keep all the things in mind as we go throughout this game, and we really want to just keep. Uh, keep in mind the trinkets, the positioning um, for constant swap targets. So right away in the opener, I get um, silence on our go, kind of, right? So we get the full sheep out of that sheep shot, the feral's feared, and the hunter's kidney. So that's great, but I get silenced first. So we, I didn't get to cast anything in the opener at all, and the hunter got to hold on to pretty much all of his um, defensive cooldowns besides Roar of Sack. But he did, we didn't get Trinket, we didn't get Human Trinket, we didn't get the turns, we didn't really get anything from that opener despite, uh, you know, pretty decent triple CC. So that's the first thing. As RMP, your openers have to be strong, you have to get stuff. Here in this next uh, go, I pop Icy Veins and we're still not getting much. We use Full Blind and we're, we're onto the Feral right now, but he's kind of DR'd. Um, for stuns for a few more seconds. We overlapped Sheep and Sap onto the Priest. And so far, guys, we've used Blind. We've had two good goes um, so far, and we've used Icy Veins, and we haven't gotten anything. So now here in this third go, we Kenny the Hunter, and I use Orb, but we don't have any CC on the Priest, right? And the the Feral Sphere, that's good. The, the um, Hunter is Kenny Shot, that's good. I'm using my Orb, questionable. We don't have any CC on the Priest, so he's just going to heal right through it very very bad setup um by i guess that's uh, just us as a team we really should have i i shouldn't have orbed right there right that was kind of just like an in-between go so bad orb by me um if we if i did orb we want cc right so once again we dr the the feral with no cc on the priest so we really need to focus on getting that cc on the priest and then going on dps very hard but right now uh, you know, we're not really getting the CC before we're going, and now that it's already a, a minute or two into the game, and we've already used a ton of our offensive cooldowns, it's, it's kind of like too late. Here, I, I try to blink to blink to Sheep the Priest, but I actually mess up my blink just a little bit. I do man, uh, I do get kicked anyway um, by Boom Surge, though, so I'm trying to line of sight this Hunter, trying to follow that Fear with the Sheep, realize I can't, and head back for the Pillar. So I kind of like my positioning here, right? Um, I, I'm trying to like stay by the pillar, but at the same time poke out to get CC when I can. Now that my priest is out of CC, I'm coming into the open so that he can heal me. When my priest is in CC, I want to line the side the best I can. I do go into that ice block right as that kidney shot lands on the hunter. So this game, I actually haven't watched it since we played it, is a disaster, right? Uh, my defensive cooldown um, ice block right there was just completely wasted because the kidney shot came right when I was low HP and I caught a big heal. So I didn't need the ice block right there, and still we're not getting very many cooldowns. However, the the feral does have no trinkets, so we want to keep that in mind. Definitely could kill him in a bomb, definitely could do a nice big setup onto him if we set it up right still. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about offensively in my mind. Defensively, I'm thinking, okay, I have one ice block available, should probably use that cold snap soon. Um, kind of wanted to stay near the pillar until we get a nice big setup. Once again, guys, going for the setup off the cheap shot. The priest trinkets and uh, depths, and I also get kicked from the hunter, so I, I can't land the sheep. I'm not getting the CC as frequently as I need to. So the main problem in this game that I would point out thus far is that we're not getting the sheeps. We're not getting the CC on the priest during our goes, which means he can just heal through it. Every time I'm going for a sheep, I get stopped. I run back to the pillar. I don't mind this, kind of hanging out until our next go. But we really need to focus on getting that CC. What we should do is push up together as a team, um, go for a stun on the priest, go for the sheep. If I can't land the sheep, the priest fears the, the priest, right? The, my priest should fear, and then off the fear, I'll go for a sheep. That's the kind of setup that we should be going for more frequently, but in this game, we're playing really far back. By the time we get the cheap shot, or by the time we get the CC, we don't have anything to follow. So we get a full blind on the priest and a full kidney onto the feral druid here. This might, you know, this could potentially end the game. Roar of Sacrifice is onto the druid, um, casting the Ebon Bolt um, with that icy vein, so much damage out. 
but I do get silenced once again because there was no CC onto the hunter. So a fear onto the hunter, a sheep onto the hunter, a stun onto the hunter might have been able to uh, secure us that kill. I do manage to get the poly, but he does uh, premonition it. Have that temp shield to proc me back up to full, and once again, another bad ice block by me. If I just held on to ice block a little bit longer, that temp shield would have topped me back off and I wouldn't need it. So it's basically, guys, two bad ice blocks in this game so far. Um, many bad setups on to the priest as far as not getting CC really just need to, uh, you know, perfect those things if we want to beat this team, right? If we keep messing up our setups, keep using defensive cooldowns when we don't need to, um, obviously the game in the, in the long term isn't going to go in our favor. Rogue's getting very low here. Um, Trap comes out of my priest full, coming back in line of sight, and my rogue just goes down because priest had used all of his defensive cooldowns trying to keep me alive, um, and then the rogue, you know, pushed in a little bit too far and uh, didn't have any defensive cooldowns left, and we do go down. So, a lot of stuff to learn from that game, even though we lost. I want to start posting more losses, too, and kind of break down why we lost, because in that game, it's so clear. And I want you guys to do the same thing. So, when you guys are playing arena, I want you guys to record your arenas and, um, like, play them back, because when you play back a game like this, it becomes so obvious. You're like, oh, I really messed... I'm trying to pause it where the MMR is still shown, but be like, oh, I really messed that up. That was so obvious. I really should have done this. All right, really didn't need the block there, but when you're trying to replay it in your head, it's really hard to come across those minute details. Okay, so here we are against the same team in Tiger's Peak Arena this time, and keep all of those things in mind that we talked about last arena, right? So we want to keep uh, an eye out on trinkets. We want to keep an eye out on uh, cooldowns, but we don't want to use uh, bad ice blocks. We don't want to go without proper CC setup. So triple CC is kind of the name of the game here. Get that full sheep onto the priest. That sting still comes out onto me, and my uh, rogue is stunned by the hunter. So a lot of... Uh, a lot of peels in the opener, but we decide to swap immediately onto the Feral into the Smoke Bomb, and we do get a Trinket and the Wall from the Feral. So boom, Trinket Wall from Feral right away. I did pop Icy Veins, and I did pop Ores. We used a lot of... Um we used a lot of offensives to get that, but now look at this. Hunter uses Roar of Sacrifice, Hunter uses Human Trinket, and Feral uses Trinket Wall in the opener, and we still have Blind. So if we just do one more good setup where we get the Feral out of form, we blind the Priest full, and we get it maybe a Sheep onto the Hunter, or um, you know some type of CC onto the Hunter, this Feral is literally dead, right? Um, we, may, we need to make sure, one, he doesn't pre-wall, and two, he doesn't bear form. So those are the two things we want to keep out for. If we if we set that up correctly, I should be able to just kill him with Evan Bolt, Comet Storm, Ice Nova, uh, maybe throw in an Ice Lance or two in there, and, and it should just be game. So let's see what happens here in these upcoming moments. We fear the Feral Druid, we blind the Priest. The fear on the Feral Druid is very important. It makes it so we can't bear form, makes it so we can't wall. Even though we want to kill the Feral Druid, the fear keeps him squishy. It keeps him primed up, ready for that go at 82% life. Um, going some for some purges on that shield, we get a sheep onto the hunter, a full blind onto the priest, and a kidney shot onto the feral druid. Casting the polymorph to switch it on over to the priest, full sheep onto the priest out of that blind, casting the full ebon bolt, ebon bolt goes off into the ice nova and the feral druid gets deleted. So nice game there with the cross CC. We had triple cross CC that time, didn't get interrupted. We, had, we went into the game with a mindset of, we're gonna kill this feral druid off of that fear, um, make sure he can't pre-wall it, make sure he can't pre-bear it, get all of our setup perfect, and boom, we can end the game rather quickly. So another game here on Tolveron Arena, so the first uh, map was Tolveron, so it's the same map as the first game, and we're kind of pushing in here, and we're trying to do something very similar. We, we killed Hunter a couple of games too, but it seemed a little gimmicky, but our Feral Druid setups are just the same as we saw last game, and I want to walk you through another game on Tolveron this time, because uh, the first game we lost on Tolveron, right? Um, so we cheap shot the Priest, very standard opener here, casting a Polymorph onto the Priest, and um, my Priest is kind of pushed in for fear as well. Windburst comes out on me, still that silence gets me every time. Going for a Resheep, he does uh, Premonition or Shadow or Death it. Going for one more Sheep, let's see if we can get any follow CC um, out onto that, doesn't look like it. We get the Roar of Sack from the Hunter, and a lot of the, like the Hunter stun, the Hunter silence, a lot of like random peels, right? Um, I want to know my positioning. I'm, I'm line of sighting the hunter as much as possible. Look, I'm, I'm running around the pillar so the hunter can't quite hit me, but I'm trying to stay in the barrier as much as possible as well. My priest gets full trapped once again, lining the hunter, right? During that full trap, um, now the smoke bomb and the, and the stun come out onto the feral druid, and I'm sitting in the smoke bomb so the hunter can't hit me because I'm in the smoke bomb, right? We do get the feral's trinket and wall. Um, priest overlaps a little bit as well, uses his human trinket and uses that power bird barrier as well. So 
now, guys, similar setup as last game. The Feral has no Trinket. The Priest has no Human Trinket. If we get a nice CC chain onto the Priest, some type of cross CC onto the Hunter, the Feral Troop can go down. Except this time, I have Icy Veins as well. So I have that Icy Veins Evan Bolt. Look at this. Oh, this is picture perfect. Full Sheep onto the Hunter. Full Blind onto the Priest. Full Fear onto the Feral. You guys know what's going to happen next. Since the Feral isn't in bear form, he doesn't have Wall of... Um, he can't use Wall Wall on Fear. We're going to Kidney Shot to the Feral Druid full. Pop that Icy Veins. Cast that Edmund Bolts. And then boom, down goes the Kitty. Um, just like that, we can take a game um, just with a nice, solid strategy. Didn't even have to Ice Block that game. Nice defensive play. Nice offensive pushes. And I really think if we play this correctly, we should win. But if we play with, um, you know, the amount of mistakes in that first game where we're constantly doing stuff at a little mismatched time, we're going to lose. So hope you guys like this uh, gameplay where I go over the loss and kind of explain why we lost. And then go over the wins and kind of explain why we won. If it was helpful, guys, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If it wasn't, you can thumbs it down and, you know, leave your suggestions in the comment section. Um, please do comment. Talk to me down below for what you guys want to see next time and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys next time peace